Saturday. It's not really Saturday. It's actually Friday. But it's supposed to be seen on Saturday. So Saturday it is. Um, so I told you guys on my last video a little bit that I had a shitty week. And the reason why I had the crappy week was because my fucking fridge broke down. And because I'm a lucky fucker like that, I was stuck buying a new fridge. But I'm moving in a year and the fridge I want does not fit this little spot. So I had to go get myself a crappier fridge in the meantime that I get the fridge I want. So um, in, instead of uh, investing you know, a few thousands of dollars on a new fridge, I decided to get myself a new fridge, but a crappy white one that cost me $400. So at least I could either use it as a secondary fridge later on or just you know, not feel as bad if ever I throw it away. So, uh, since it's boring, and I don't like boring, there is nothing good about boring, I decided to do something fun with it, because I thought that I was super clever when I thought of this, because I was at home and I'm like, I don't want a white fridge. Hmm. So, that being said, here is what you need to get yourself an awesome, awesome fridge. This is how it's going to go. You will need duct tape. And this one's written the way it pronounces, so duct tape. Hmm. I took leopard because I like leopard. I, I like leopard. Um, okay, so here is what you'll need to give your beautiful fridge a makeover. So, and yeah, there's tape missing on top, you know, because I had to do a cut scene thing. Anyways, uh, so yeah, leopard print. And I took a second color. Uh, for the duct tape, because I'll be covering the fridge, um, I took a second color for the handle itself. So I took black, which is NASCAR black. It's actually really a nice finish. I like it. It's, it's car-ish feeling. Anyways, uh, and then you'll need is tools, an exacto, a uh, little cutting thing, and then you'll need the screwdriver because I got screwed. Uh, I'm so clever. Uh, so you'll need a screwdriver. Uh, in my case, I need a star, but I think it's universal for all fridges. It's a star screwdriver you'll need. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors. And make sure they cut. These ones don't cut very well, but I'm screwed with this pair, so I'll do the best I could. And then you'll need pliers. So to start off, you want to clean your fridge super, super, super well to degrease it so that there's no nothing on it. Since mine's new, I didn't really have to do that. I just passed a rag and that was done. The second thing you want to do is, there is a brand name here. To, for it to be nicer, you want to take this off completely. So it's going to be sticky under because they make it sticky. But yeah, so you want to take that off and throw it in the garbage. And then you want to go ahead and take your screwdriver. Uh, all depending how the fridge is done, you can check how to take off or dismantle the handles. Uh, in my case, I was really baffled. I didn't know how because usually it's either hooked on the top, you can unscrew it from here or from under, or you can slide the things off. In this case, I was like, really? How am I going to take this off? It won't come off. So um, my boyfriend, smart ass that he is, he used to be a mover. And I was like, oh, OK. And then he's like, it's right under here. It's a little square. I was like, smart ass. So, you take the squirt, and my case, you can just rip it off because I'm going to cover it so we won't see it. So, off you go. It's a little sticker in this case. Yuck. And then you take your screwdriver, and I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but I'll be back in a second if you don't. Take your screwdriver, and you dismantle the handle as simply as that. Hopefully, I don't get a surprise. My chances, I'll probably get one, but it's okay. So you take one screw off, that is one long freaking screw. Okay. And then you, I get, you have to slide this part off. Look at that. I learn things every day. I really, this is really improv. I really don't know what to expect now. And then you take off this screw. It's gonna be another long one, guaranteed. But I like surprises, I'm very excited. And then you can just do the rest by hand. Oh, look, it's a little one! <laughs> and then there's a little plastic thing, and you want to not lose the parts. So you're going to keep them in a safe place, not on the floor. So that is all gone. Now you'll need your duct tape. So you want to stretch it out 
to the length of the fridge. And if you do it the other way, and just go piece by piece, you're going to end up with uh, lines and bubbles, and it won't be pretty. So, you do this all the way down. Um, here we go. You want to stick it out a little bit. In this case, I stuck it out a little too much, but just enough. You get to see what's in my fridge, not much in there. Um, I lost everything in my other fridge. Uh, you want to just go till the inside, and I'll show you what to do after with the insides. And you want to make sure there's no ripples or pleats or anything. And when applying it, you want to leave about, in this case here, about half an inch sticking over the fridge so uh, that it gives a nice finish. And just make sure it's more or less straight. I probably do things very crooked, so you know I try to fix my issues as I go along. And then you want to keep your scissors close by because you'll need them often. To make this simpler, you can stick out your fridge. I'm a lazy person, so this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> These scissors truly suck. I'm trying to get really good ones because duct tape's really tough. Okay, so once you got that out of the way, your first layer is done. So you cover it. And then you make sure it goes on to the other side. Now all you have to do is if you wrap the gift, you can do this part, no problem. You fold it over on the top. Just, you know, flatten it. And then the other side, you just make it overlap onto the other, onto the opposite side. So you do that on the whole fridge like this. If you go over the little um, hinges that are on the top, you'll just use your X-Acto after just to cut around so that it'll be as flexible and you don't force the hinge or break it. I doubt you can break it, but you don't want to really take a chance. Now you do your next layer. So excited to see this finish. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. My god, you get muscles out of this. So then in this case, since I know I screwed myself up too much, I'm gonna put a little less this time. And then you overlap it. You could always go back and forth a little bit with it in case you may have done a mistake like I do. I did, does, whatever, and you want to make sure that it's not crooked. And there you go. Just pass your palm over it, make sure it's stuck everywhere, and then the scissors, the famous fucking scissors that don't cut. Now for my fridge, if ever you guys are wondering how many duct tapes will I use, you know, watch the whole thing, so I'm sorry I didn't say it before. Um, you want to measure your fridge, so you want to use math, so you're going to use um, from this side here, uh, let's say it's uh, 36 inches, and you're going to go all the way down to the edge of the door, and you measure, let's say, 50 inches, well, you do 36 times 50, and it gives you your surface. Conversion, I'll put it all below my video, so you guys will be able to see the conversion for the tape versus your fridge. In my case, it says that I need about 2.5 roll, uh, rolls, so I purchased four, just in case I get screwed somewhere somehow, because that can happen, it probably will. Uh, five dollars, uh, I'm in Montreal, so here they're about like, yeah, five dollars at Michael's or six bucks. I know in the States at Home Depot, they're three twenty-nine. dollars so you guys get this for peanuts. Bastards. So, on to the next thing. I make it stick out again a little, not too much, you don't want to waste it all. Always making sure to overlap it on top of the other one and just place it in your hand to make sure that it's nice and straight. And then flatten out any surface that might not be flattening out all the surface that might not be all flat or whatever it is. You could always follow it with a ruler to make it flatter. It's actually a really good idea. Oh, but I won't do it because I'm lazy. Alright guys, so what you do, uh, like I just went over the hole, but there's a little hole where the handle is, which is right here. So what you want to do is put the duct tape on top. I also started using a ruler because I like to make bubbles in my duct tape. Yay! So you take the, 
friend Dick Face. Awesome. So you want to just flatten it out. And once you get here, there's going to be the little hole. Just want to make sure to poke a hole, a hole through it so that the screw can still go. Then you put the next piece of duct tape. Okay. Oh, look, it's fangy. Okay, so we just go feel for the hole, which is somewhere around these lines. And it's around here. So you go feel for it, and you just re pierce the hole so you know where to put your handle. And there you go. Hey guys, so uh, and, and this is gonna be day two of the fridge because I ran out of motherfucking tape. So I had to go get some more. And when I was doing the video yesterday, it was 10 o'clock at night. So there was no way in hell I can get myself another roll. Uh, I originally uh, calculated, which I was right with my calculations, that I needed three rolls to do the fridge. But because I slightly overlapped a little bit uh, towards the middle, just to be more straight so I would overlap, it doesn't show. You won't see a difference with the overlapping whatsoever. Uh, but just so you know, uh, if you do overlap a lot, um, just make sure to budgetize for five rolls instead of three or four. Um, so I went out and bought two more rolls, not because I needed that much more, but just because uh, in case for whatever reason, I don't know, I decide to run my head into the fridge, right? And then there's a little piece missing, then I can patch it up. Things like that happen all the time. And I, don't know what's so confusing about that. So um, I got myself another roll. I also went out and bought myself a gold tape. Now the reason why I bought gold tape was to be able to do the finishing around on the edges of the door all the way around. Uh, you don't have to go onto this side if it's against the wall because you don't see it, but I just figured to make it even and I'm going to go onto the sides as well uh, just to make it a nicer finish. So that I'll show you guys after, so it was just like a little update as I go along because I'm on day two of the fridge. But it should take you, if you're properly prepared, and if you listen to this video fully, you'll know exactly what you need, and you won't run out of stuff. So, that being said, uh, it should take you about an hour and a half to do this. It shouldn't take more than that, but make sure you have everything. So, on to the handle. Now, we want to cover the fucker because it's not nice for it to be white. If you guys have a black handle, it's way better because then you won't have to cover it. But in my case, I have a white handle and I don't think it would match. I don't like it this way. People have said that they like it. Whoever came over yesterday and today and I, no, I don't like it. I just think they're lazy and that they just want to keep it white. So for your handle, simply start the tape midway in the back. Now again, I never did this before. I swear to God, I'm not lying. You're gonna see me screw up. And then you slightly angle down so um, if you've played hockey before, it's the same way that you would wrap your stick. I've never played hockey before, but I, I used to crush on hockey guys, so I've seen them do it. So you keep on going this way, and you, in this case you want to keep the roll close so you get it nice and tight and a perfect finish. Um, <clears throat> make sure that you don't do any lines like I'm doing right now. God damn it. You could always unroll like you do with the fridge. You'll get the hang of it because the handle will be less and then your duct tape will be your best friend. You'll be like, yeah, I'm like a pro with duct tape. And, and then you can say thanks to me because you used it. Or not, whatever. Just whatever. So you just go all the way around. So, um, another practice is because you learn things as you go along, in my case. Uh, you're going to start, uh, you're going to, when you start your uh, handle to duct tape it, you're going to stop about three quarters of the way or maybe even halfway. You're not going to go all the way around because then it starts getting weirdly tight and it gets really disgustingly horrible. So, you're going to start again from this side. So, you start wrapping from here. And then you keep on going around like you did the first time. So just go ahead. Now for this next part to do uh, the ends here, uh, what you're gonna do is cut pieces about yay big. So this is about what two and a half to three inches, maybe four. 
you're going to go around and you're just going to stick it this way. So you're just going to cover and then you're going to put another one here and then same thing here. You're going to leave them dangling down so that when they're all on you can just smooth the sides over because here it's curled in my case and I think that most fridges do have curled they don't really have the square if they have the square it's much easier for you guys because you just stop and then have the other side to wrap around perfectly so in the case of a round edged handle you want to be able to uh, have it all up, even and not uneven and yucky so yeah so once you've done that your handle looks kind of like this which is weird so like I said you take your palm just like you did with the fridge and you just make it as flat as possible and because it's easier this way uh, than wrapping it from the start so you do it this way and here we go and then you can just fold the edges here over so you go like this and then you wrap it tightly onto the other side so that the white part or whatever color part of your fridge does not show and then you use your scissors and cut off the excess or an exacto, all depending how close to the edge it is. But you could always leave the top here to bevel over so it really looks like it's part of the handle, even though you'll probably tell everyone you did it yourself, because that's what I'm gonna do. And, which obviously you did it yourself. Anyways, you, you get what I mean. So like this, and then like this. And you do the same thing onto the other side. And that's it. It's really as simple as that for the handle. Now for this last part for the handle, because I realized there was a lot of lines going through and through, you can't see it really well, but if you can see, there's a lot of lines. So what I did was I put a piece of duct tape, because duct tape has become my best friend. You're going to take the duct tape and simply go this way and stick it through like I did and then pat it down like you've been doing so it takes away all the lines and it looks nice and even and then you won't see uh, you're gonna have a nice smooth surface if you want to add anything like I will be doing in a few seconds because it's still a little boring and I don't like it so here you go so you just basically make it look all nice and flat and obviously you'll be sitting down doing this, I'm doing it standing up because I love you guys and I want to show you how it's done! Yay! If you guys hear weird sounds eventually, my boyfriend is now playing Call of Duty and he's wearing his earphones so he doesn't bother me and I couldn't do this in my bedroom because it involved me taking the fridge into the bedroom and no, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, so that's that. Okay, so we got it covered. Once this is covered, the next step you do is you put it aside. And if you choose for this next part to do the golden duct tape or whichever finish you want across so that you don't see the lines on the side or for whatever reason you don't want to eventually have this like, I don't know what to eat and then just kind of scratch on the side of the fridge because I do that sometimes. I'm like, what should I eat? And then it comes off, you won't be happy. So this is what I'm going to do for this next part. Uh, if I can find the edge, it would make my job so much simpler. Oh my god! Look, I found it. So the gold duct tape actually has a bit of a different texture. It's not as slippery or as even to take off. So like we did for the rest of the fridge, but this time we're going to do it this way instead of this way. And I also found a really easy way. I'm going to show you from the back so I don't stick my fridge. But what I found was easy was to take out the whole roll this way uh, stick it to one side here and then when you get to the edge before sticking it you kind of just make it flush onto the other side this way it becomes flush this way so you're sure to not have any streaks or bubbles or anything and you're sure that it's going to be straight because all you have to do is guide yourself with the line above or if you start from the bottom guide yourself from the line below now for this part here you're going to simply like we've done before um, just make sure you get the right corner. If you don't, duct tape is actually very forgiving. So if you screw up, it's like, it's okay, it fixes it. So you can just unstick a little bit at a time. So in this case, we're just gonna unroll all the way. Please don't unstick, I will cry. I don't know if you guys see me in the shot anymore, 
but you simply align it with the bottom. And I don't think you guys see me anymore. But you align it with the bottom. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. So you simply align it here. You go all the way down. You make sure it's flush here that you can't stick it to the other side, okay? So you keep on going to the bottom like this, this way. And you cut it and it'll stick underneath. No one sees underneath so you don't have to do it. And once you're done with the gold trim like this here, uh, you're gonna add a second row right next to it so that it arrives flush here. So you're gonna take another row right like this and you're gonna do the same thing down again so that everything's covered properly if that's what you want to do on the edges. And then you flatten out the surface with either the back of your fingers, because this worked out really well. Not as well as I would have thought. No, it worked out really well. Um, I like to complain. And then this part's done here. So you have a nice golden trim on the side of your fridge. Everybody's going to be jealous, because they're going to think it's super expensive. It's not. For under 40 bucks, you have a new looking fridge. It's way more awesome. I think I wasn't in the shop. You have a brand new fridge, and it looks way more awesome than a boring ass fucking white one or a boring black one. Because sometimes the black ones, I don't know, they don't fit the kitchen or you don't like them. This is so much better. Once you're done with cutting off the edges here, you're done with the duct tape. You never have to look at duct tape again, ever. Well, unless you have something to duct tape like your bumper, then you'll need duct tape. So for this part here, I needed an extra hand because they didn't have enough. So for this part, simply uh, feel where the edges are, flatten it out properly. Either take a ruler or your nails, you know. And now you're going to follow simply with the exacto or a sharp blade. You're just going to simply cut across to take out the excess. Okay, so now you're done trimming the sides and it's nice and finished this way so that you don't see any of the uh, little pieces that are sticking out. You cut them all out and you have the gold finish in my case or if you don't want to finish, it's fine too. So that's that. Now on to the handle decoration. No, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I was filming your ass. No, it's fine. Alright, so on to the last step. Um, I decided to put it on so I can see. Uh, I decided to put the handle on so our fridge is almost finished. Uh, if you like it just plain with the black handle, you leave it be and you never look, well, you look at it all the time, but you never have to touch it again. On this part here, I was going to actually add some spikes like this. I don't know if you see them but they're little spikes. So they're little spikes like this, 10 millimeters wide at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do for this next part here is simply get some uh, crazy glue and add them straight on the edges. So I'll be back in a second and you guys will see how that will look. On to adding the spikes onto the wonderful fridge. You simply put a little bit of glue here, not too much, and then you flatten it out uh, so that it goes everywhere at the bottom and you try not to stick your fingers. And so you start from the top if that's where you want to put it. It's very slippery, I'm getting to know that right now, and you want to hold it down once it kind of grips a little bit. You want to hold it down for about 20 seconds so it's secure, 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 and it'll never go anywhere ever again. So. That's one. On to the next one. And so I finished decorating my fridge. I added spikes to the handle right here. Yay, I like spikes. And then I added a little piece of gold here to make it a two-tone because I found it a little plain all black. And then I added more spikes on this side. Make sure you tell your boyfriend not to lean on the handle when Shut it's off. freshly glued on. Shut up to you. So you don't have to do it twice, you know, because it's better to just do it once. Yeah. So that's my fridge. You can add yourself a little sticker here to make, like, you know, your personal 
brand name or whatever, um, I'm probably just gonna go get some uh, vinyl letters and write something like probably bunny or something silly. Your fridge is finished with your beautiful gold trim. I just wish I had a really better camera so you guys can see this close up because it's really awesome. My lighting sucks. I'll give you guys a little close up that is going to be a little better. So basically this is what my handle looks like. Which is really awesome. I mean yeah there's a little bit of lines. I, I hurried up. I was, I was a bit in a rush. I want to get it over with. So Son of a bitch, I wasn't recording, missed the whole part of my video. But anyway, so this is the fridge in its final moments and stuff. Uh, the bottom is white because I will be spray painting it outside in black and it's really cold so it won't stay or it will bubble. And I'm not doing it inside my apartment because we don't want me to suffocate or get poisoned. So this is not fine. So finally, the fridge is fini. So that's about it. So now it really doesn't belong in my kitchen. And I also would like to mention that I wanted to uh, duct tape my cabinets. And then my boyfriend told me I couldn't. Boo. So uh, my fridge doesn't belong in my kitchen. But I love it. So hope you guys like my video. And explaining to you guys how to uh, make a boring fridge fun. So, uh, make sure to subscribe up here and to comment down there. And if you hear Call of Duty, it's because I'm going to go play. And as well, um, please let me know if you have any questions. If you do this yourself, it'd be really, really fun if you guys would email me a picture of your fridge. I would be super, super curious to see what it looks like. And that's about it. So, um, by the way, I just wanted to do a little uh, parenthesis for you guys. Uh, someone asked me what my plug was made of. No, it's not lime. It's actually acrylic. It's really cool. Um, and it's uh, a Ouija board because I love Ouija boards. So, uh, yeah, I have to stick it back in. Uh, so, uh, as usual, I'll put the, <laughs> as usual, I'm going to put the link of uh, where I buy my plugs, which is Sticks and Bows, and uh, the owner's name is Jennifer Aguila, and she rocks so, so much. Uh, always customized stuff like I want, and you can go ahead and ask her, and I'm sure it'll be her pleasure to help you out on that. And never forget that I will, as usual, do the giveaway so it'll be this bracelet, which is really awesome. It's stretchy and it has little stars. Yay. And my nails aren't done. You know me by now. I'm super lazy. And this is what it looks like on. And I find it really, really nice. It's a very old school look. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be giving away four of those because we all know that my new lucky number is four. And I want you guys to let me know what you think of the fridge. And if you actually decided to share this to tell your other friends that got a, an apartment and would want to, you know, not spend too much money on a fridge and get a 3D TV or something instead. So, so hope you enjoy your new fridge. Hope you enjoyed my video and have yourselves an awesome week and see you sometime this week. Maybe I'll surprise you guys with another video and big kisses to everyone love you all and see you next week